Good morning guys, good morning from Malaysia. Um, today's video I want to talk about overriding styles of a, of a website. So let's take this website for example. It could be my display of my uh, Lenovo X1C3 because the angles are very strange on this display and the color reproduction is terrible too. And this particle docs website, it's got like a sort of a gray font on a white background. And I honestly struggle to view this web page. Of course, I'm thinking immediately, well, I can inspect it and then I can see the color here and I can change it to black. And then immediately the contrast is a little bit better for me and I can maybe read it. But, I'm f but obviously if the page uh, reloads or whatever, um, I can't see it again. So mm, that sucks. So I asked around and um, of course there is a Chrome extension called Control Freak where you can sort of um, create your own styles and override the web page but of course when you add the um, extension it says read and change all your data on the websites you visit um, well the trouble is I have with this is that is it sort of sending the data back somewhere because I've had this experience where I install like the pedometer app on my iPhone and I'm and I'm wire sharking my phone just because for just for fun, and it's sending data back. I mean, why is it sending data back? I want, in my opinion, I want to have an app that's just doing its little logic on the local side. I don't want it to be sending stuff. And and um, you know I don't have any reassurance with this dialog that it's not sending data of all the sites of it somewhere. So I'm I'm too scared to use it. So an alternative is to use Suckless Surf. Um, I don't use it day to day because, well, because it's, it's, well, it's a little bit hard to use, shall we say, and the binds are a little bit different. I'm quite used to sort of all the binds in Chrome, and, well, you need to, tabbing is difficult, but anyway, it is useful for certain use cases, like for this one. For, so with Surf, you can actually, um, have your, your your star sheet so so unfortunately this is not as easy as I think it should be because sometimes font colors and all that stuff are, are, are seem to be applied at different times on the star sheet depending how the star sheet is created so it can be a bit of a can be a bit of a struggle to um, override the style this is why I'm using star here and then you have to use dash important but anyway uh, just to I wrote this little star sheet to override make and make the particle website look a bit better. And and now um every time I view the particle website, as you can see here, it's you know in, in a better contrast, I can see what's going on. And obviously if I go to other pages, the star sheet's applied. So yeah, if you know a better way of um overriding a star sheet become a bit more readable on Linux, I'm all ears, man. I'm all ears. Um but this is how I'm doing it with Suckless Surf. Thank you for